I'm Diane Hendricks, and today we are at a very special location in Grandma's Garden at Lydia's home. Thank you so much for having me here. I'm so oh, excited. Oh, my pleasure. We have some good stuff here. Oh, and it's all, it's just, it's in full bloom. Absolutely, and it's going to bloom like this, you know, for the rest of the summer. So the, uh, I'm going to make a little special recipe for you, a little pasta, yes. a little pesto, just not even cooking the sauce, just oh, the pasta. Oh, yum. So let's start with some tomatoes, and I have some great cherry tomatoes I love here. cherry tomatoes. Yeah, look, I'm going to make the pesto with these raw tomatoes. It's This is a Sicilian pesto here. This is fresh growing garlic, oh, and I'm going to use fresh garlic for our pesto, and um, it's going to be very special. Oh, my God, and I'm so gonna, excited. I'm going to pluck it right out garlic it almost looks like an onion yes. but it has flat leaves yes and oh you see oh my gosh look how beautiful that is <sighs> and we're going to use all of this this is now it's beginning to form the little sections is it true that your mother does the planting and you do the harvesting she does she loves planting uh, I do the harvesting I help her plant when it's necessary well, do you pick yourself do you come out and and pick things I do what I can, but yes. I try to do my best. I uh, check uh, uh, how much grew for the night before to the morning. Can Every you tell? Every day, sure. How long has this garden been here? How many years have you been doing this? About uh, 25, 30, yeah. Really? Yeah. So we just came in with this bounty from Grandma's Garden. And now what are we gonna make with all these fresh, wonderful ingredients? Well, we're gonna, first of all, cook a pound of pasta, spaghetti, okay. put it right in salted water. And this is a pesto that I actually picked up in Trapani. Now, you know pesto, everybody knows the garlic, the basil, and, and the pignoli nuts. Right. But pesto can be made out of all different kinds of vegetables. So here we have, we have the fresh garlic. I'm gonna clean that. You can pluck these little stems out of the tomatoes. Okay. You see how the segments are beginning to to kind of yeah but yeah. they're not there yet no but we'll throw the whole thing oh my thing. gosh it smells so great this also is going to have almonds instead of the pignoli you know love it sicily is all about almonds mm -hmm. uh this is the basil you oh. know for me growing basil is essential but i like all the other herbs too you know i need so i have a little corner just for all my herbs and pick a few branches throw it right in parsley too that's it I love give it. me just the, the 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 stems of the parsley let's throw it all in here yum now a little bit of peperoncino, I like mine a little spicy, and a little salt, and almonds. These are slivers of almonds, but whole almonds, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Throw all of these tomatoes right in here. I can't even imagine putting tomatoes in a pesto. And now the oil, of course. Okay. And let's see how much. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my okay. gosh. So what are we doing here? Am I taking the pasta? Yeah, just fish it out. Okay, so now, mm. you, yeah, you can twist. Oh my goodness, really? Yeah. And I love that you're putting the cheese in now. A lot of times when people put cheese in pesto, you put all that cheese in the pesto and then you go put more on in the bowl and it's almost too much. And then we'll be ready to eat. So <laughs> grandma's gonna come here too, so you know. Okay, yeah, we need grandma too. So what do we call this, Lydia? You called. This you call spaghetti al pesto trapanese. And yeah. what does that mean? Trapani is a city in Sicily, uh -huh. northern Sicily. Yes. Uh, Sicily is known for its almonds. And this pesto is made with almonds. All right. So and let's tomatoes. Try. So let's, let's try it. Let's eat. Manja. Mm -hmm. Grandma? Ah, it's very, very good. Manja, oh. manja, manja. I love it. Thank you so much for joining me in Grandma's Garden with the one and only Lydia Bastianich. You can find this delicious recipe and more at thedailymeal.com.